Hey. <laughs> yeah. I know, you've been asking me so many questions. And you guys keep asking the same thing over and over. I know I do Tina Turner a lot. It's because I built my career on doing Tina Turner. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to answer just a few of your questions. Like I've said many times before in my videos, I've been doing Tina Turner for 35 years. At least 35 years. Most of my career, I've been doing Tina Turner. And it's been very good for me. Because when Tina Turner first, when she first started, she was very athletic looking. And I actually used to be a lot more athletic looking than I look now. Um, I am lucky to be looking the way I do at 60, going through all of those years of um, dramaticness, I will say. But um, yeah, I've been doing Tina Turner for about 35 years. I used to, I started off with Janet Jackson. Patty LaBelle, um, and I wasn't doing Dion work at the time. I was just doing Janet Jackson, and then occasionally Patty LaBelle. But I wasn't as you know as voluptuous as Patty LaBelle at the time. I didn't have very much meat on my bones back in the day. Um, but as I've gotten older, it's worked for me. I'm filling out now a little bit more. <laughs> It took me to get to 60 to start filling out, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, people used to always say I had great legs. So I always used them to my advantage. You know how it is. I was always wearing the short, short things and going out there on the stage and being sexy. Um, I didn't have as much, like I said, fulfillment at the time. But uh, I was. they always used to say, you're very sexy. You're very sexy. You should do Tina Turner. So once I started doing Tina Turner full time, I wasn't really, I was energy wise, but because I was so masculine, because I was an aerobics teacher at one point, so I had really defined muscles. So it was hard for me to go out and not look too manly, which of course I had a friend of mine years ago he drew a sketch of me we worked together at this club in toronto called comrades and he drew this sketch of me and when i saw it it was just all muscle i looked like um um what's that man name the green man uh hulk hulk hulk, 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 man, hulk. and uh with a wig on <laughs> It was so funny. It was horrible. And I wasn't flattered by that because I thought, you know, most queens, they think that they're beautiful and, 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 and they look real good. So they don't like that thing that says that they're a man looking. Uh, even though, you know, you have Miss Atlas or Miss Universe and all the women that do all the um, stuff like you know, Mr. Universe and Mr. Atlas and all those things. You know, the big muscle builders. Um, I mean, I was lucky that I had the body that I had, and I was very athletic because my folks were athletic people. So um, we grew up in an athletic household to take care of ourselves and look after our bodies and eat right. Of course, I never ate right because I've always eaten cookies and cakes and candies. I was lucky that I had the body that I had for as long as I did. Um, but like I said, once I got into Tina Turner and started listening to her music, it was more about the feeling. I could feel what she was singing about. And a lot of it was hurt and drama. A lot of that wasn't in my household. But I, I felt that I could relate to her because I had a lot of compassion in me. And I could feel that she was reaching out in her songs for help. So that is uh, what, another thing that drew me to her. And also I like the fact that she had that fire, that fire in her. And um, that is what I like the most, is that fire, that energy, that life. Ooh, there's no other performer like that. I mean, Beyonce is doing her thing now, and not because I'm just doing my little lookalikes as Beyonce. You know, this is just part of, 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 of gay culture. You always do what's trending. 
time. But Beyonce is giving that energy and that life now. And I think Tina Turner sang about things that were um, happening in her life and that was, you know, important to her. Um, or whether the writers were writing what they could see, you know, because Tina kept saying, just tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want. And then I will give you the interpretation of how I'm feeling for what you want. Mm. Tina Turner was amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, I am so glad that I impersonate her. And I actually do it right, quite well. Most of the time when I walk out on the stage, I get standing ovations. So it's a pretty good thing to be doing Tina Turner. Now, later on, once I start working in Lacage and working more often and performing more often, um, there was an opportunity for me to do Dionne Warwick. And you know, they always say all black queens look alike. Not all of us look alike, trust me. We all don't look alike. But we can still get the illusion on a big stage. So um, I tried Dionne Warwick and it worked. The first night I did Dionne Warwick in an evening at Lacage, I got a standing ovation. And I went through all the dramas with the wig and back then I wore false teeth fake teeth to give it more that appearance of Dion. So I think it was, that's why it worked. And also I was, I dramatized it out. So <laughs> I dramatized it out. I sort of over-exaggerated. I'm sorry, Dion, but it got me a standing ovation. You would be happy. You'd be proud. And, um, and Tina Turner, all of her favorite songs from Private Dancer to What's Love Got To Do With It, Love Thing, um, Foreign Affair, um, Do What You Do. Uh, these are songs that I'm drawn to. I'm drawn to a lot of the songs that Tina didn't make popular because I could still feel the love and the life and that energy of making you believe you were at that point in time when she did the songs. I love Tina Turner. She was just, she was just so fabulous at delivering the songs and the message in the songs. Mm -hmm. If you ever listen to her when she's just singing a cappella on um, YouTube, go and listen to her sing a cappella. You could feel that thing, that life, that thing that's in her. Mm, this just comes out in the songs and the music just makes you want to dance or makes you want to move a lot of y'all y'all don't know i used to I, I would tear the place up when when you know everything is good tina i try to always give a hundred and ten percent most of the time 150 percent with the look the clothes so but i love doing tina turner did that answer I've done like 12 of these kind of interviews with different people about why I do Tina Turner. So I hope you please, I hope this works for you. You know, it's worked for me and I think down the road things are going to get better for Miss Tina Turner impersonator Stephanie Stevens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Is that enough? Okay. All right. He says that's enough, y'all. Thank you. Mm. That was great. You like? Okay. <laughs>